Hello, this is Gail Ferris, your narrator and videographer. In the 1990s, I went to visit Doug Martin at Alden Marine in Elliott, Maine to see his Alden Star, an 18-foot rowing shell. On top of my car, I had an Arlock 1. And in Stony Creek, I always paddled an Arlock 3. Doug designed the Alden Star as a closed hull, one unit, with a remarkably fascinating bow, which was hollow, and a stern, which also was not just hollow, but has a transom. This was to reduce frictional resistance. This Alden Star has a built-in Pantadosi rowing unit, which is very efficient. Here is the transom and the hollow stern Doug so graciously discussed with me. Absolutely fascinating. Hey, this is the Alden Star, their newest production here at Alden Marine. The wonderful boat, 18 feet long specially designed for intermediate fast rowing, but not particularly really rough water. It has a Pantadosi sliding seat rig. Which is built right into the hull, making it very convenient. It has all kinds of advantages with this system. Now I'm showing you how the hull is put together. The hull is designed so it is completely watertight, which is great. It's very, very nice to be able to row in a shell that is designed for open water that has a self-bailing small cockpit. The deck offers very little windage and will shed waves very nicely. Now we can see the adjustable through hull skeg. What's especially nice about having this skeg is that it gives you directional stability, which the Alden single didn't have, and that would drive me nuts when I was trying to row somewhere and getting caught actually in irons in the wind sometimes. And here we are looking at the hollow stern, and here is the drainage port at the very stern. Now I'm showing you from the stern forward so you can see the shape of the chine. This is an 18-foot boat, and here you can see how the cockpit is specially laid out and sealed so that when water gets in there, it doesn't get into the rest of the boat. It's nice to see these braces on the outriggers of this Pantadosi rig to reduce the stresses of rowing. Now I'm showing you from midship forward to the bow how the chine runs along the hull. Here I am rowing the Olden Star, although I am not an especially well-trained rower. Actually, I'm self-trained pretty much. It's fun to see how this boat moves on the water. Here I am rowing the Olden Star and it's a headwind, but it's just to show you how the boat looks on the water. Although I am not an especially well-trained rower, I, I felt very stable while rowing this 18-foot craft. What a nice hull this is to row. And I was rowing with Doug Martin's feathers which I'm very accustomed to using. You will notice that there is a moment in this where I am slightly off balance and you can see how easily I can control this situation. This hull is very easy to control for a novice rower. This is Gail Ferris once again and here I am launching my Arlock 3 over the ice in Stony Creek me a good angle of now I'm showing you in detail how effective this onion hoe is over top of the ice 
This video is really about Doug Martin's study of the hollow bow and stern and how it plays into. Thank you for watching my video. This is Gail Ferris, now in Sitka, Alaska.